Welcome back to our channel. Today we are covering Togev Foundation. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. If you like this content, please like and subscribe to our channel. Today's questions are Togev uses a version numbering convention to illustrate the evolution of the baseline and target architecture definitions. Which version number in this convention indicates a formally reviewed detailed architecture? Option A, version 0.1 Option B, version 0.5 Option C, version 0.9 Option D, version 1.0 and option E version 1.5 the correct answer is option D now moving to next question which of the following best describes the TOGEF architecture development method option A a process for managing architecture requirements. Option B, a classification mechanism for architectures and solutions. Option C, a process for managing and controlling change at an enterprise wide level. Option D, a view of the architecture repository. And option E, a process for developing an organization specific enterprise architecture. The correct answer is option E. Next question is which of the following best describes the need for the ADM process to be governed? Option A. To enable development of reference architectures. Option B to enable a fast response to market changes. Option C to build a top down all inclusive architecture description. Option D to permit the architecture domains to be integrated. And option E to verify that the method is being applied correctly the correct answer is option e next question is which one of the following is an objective of phase a architecture vision option a defining architecture principles option b Defining relationships between management frameworks. Option C. Defining the enterprise. Option D. Evaluating the enterprise architecture maturity. And option E. Identifying the stakeholders and their concerns. The correct answer is option E. Next question is, which one of the following does TOGAF recommend for use in developing the architecture vision? Option A, architecture principles. Option B, business scenarios. Option C, business transformation readiness assessment. Option D, capability based planning and option E, gap analysis. The correct answer is option B. Next question is, which one of the following is considered a relevant architecture resource in phase D? Option A, Generic application models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option B. Generic business models relevant to the organization's industry sector. Option C. 
generic data models relevant to the organization's industry sector and option D generic technology models relevant to the organization's industry sector the correct answer is option D next question is how does this affect me option A implications option B name option C rational and option D statement the correct answer is option A next question is according to Togaf which of the following terms is defined as the key interest that are crucially important to stakeholders option a concerns option b principles option c requirements option d views and option e views points The correct answer is option A. Thank you.